Frank, why are you laughing? Well, because I think uh, they've been that bad, you know, against Chelsea and also against Paris Saint-Germain in the first leg. Chelsea was in the second leg. So if they watch too many tapes, you know, they can wonder how come they can be in the semi-final. And the, the answer is the spirit that they have, how they can manage to reverse a situation where it seems to be impossible to, to do so. Uh, they believe in themselves. They're quite lucky. And, uh, and luck is part of the game. And they have to believe that they can do something. I'm laughing because it's quite impossible to see Real Madrid winning that Champions League. But they showed the two first round, the two round, the, the uh, precedent round, that they, they, they're capable of getting a miracle from there. So it's possible from there to, from them to do so. And, and from City, yeah, they can play well. Uh, yeah, they can do so. But suddenly, after 40 minutes or maybe an hour, they, they, they go back to a rhythm where I don't like to see them and they can be, uh, they can be punished. I, I didn't enjoy the first leg, I have to say to you. As a defender, I didn't enjoy. As a, as a, as a football fan, yes, I did. But defensively, that was horrendous what I saw from Madrid and, and after what I saw from, uh, from Manchester City. So I didn't enjoy that game. Who's under more pressure? Man City are favourites, Real Madrid are at home. City. Uh, boys were mentioning earlier. Uh, I haven't been over the line in this competition. I've had some great opportunities. I don't think anybody at Madrid, although they want to win this competition every year, they've had great success in it. At the start of the season, it was fighting fires. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think City are under uh, more pressure. They haven't wrapped up the league. Real Madrid have. He's won it at Barcelona, in some style, by the way. Didn't it Bayern Munich. Hasn't yet at Man City. So all eyes are really on... Uh, the knives are out if he stuffs up again. Put it that way. Now, he's not going to lose his job. Of course he's not. But there'll be a few out there who want to take a pop at him. If his City side, who are a much better squad than Real Madrid, who have, uh, you know, I think in the, as a whole, better players uh, and a better coach, in my opinion, uh, the eyes are on them. Now, at the start, he said Ancelotti has a plan. What's the plan? To play 4 3 3? That's generally what they do. To not play as bad as they did in the first leg obviously, or the first half in particular. But look, let's look at the little nuances. Stones, we think, is out. Ali mentioned Vinicius Jr. It's imperative, I think, that Kyle Walker is fit. Right? Now, we understand it might be a late fitness test. He's trained and travelled. Yeah, so if he's not, they're going to be lumping balls over the top down that side for Vinicius Jr., and Cancelo's going to be under pressure. So I think it's imperative that somehow they manage to get, if he's fit, on the field, Kyle Walker. If, if, if he's not fit and they play this ridiculously high line again with Laporte and Stones, if Modric and Cruz get on the ball, they'll just pop it in behind for Benzema and Vinicius and runners. And that's a problem for Man City. Even when they're in control of a game, K, sometimes against lesser teams in the Premier League, you think, my God, why are they taking these chances? And a lot of the times they get away with it, but they're not going to get away with basic elementary errors against this Real Madrid side. So it's about getting the balance right between squeezing the game and dropping off, and somebody's going to have to deal with Vinicius Jr. Otherwise, it could go pear-shaped for them. Uh, do you agree that City are under more pressure, Don? Yeah, Pep has to win it. Um, I, I don't think he has to win it. I just mean everyone in general. I think they, they love to see someone like Pep fail, and just going back to Ali, I mean, that's the reason why Ali should never, ever, ever be a manager. If he's going to show the Real Madrid players the first half of that game against Man City, because you should just bury that half. You should never want to see that half ever again, because it will demoralise the players. So, Ali, never step into management. It's not your bag. It's not for you. <laughs> OK. All right. Fine. So, I just turn a blind eye and ignore it. Yes. It didn't happen, guys. We didn't yes. give up a bunch of chances. Yes, hey, I don't guys, want to see that game at all. No, I don't want to see okay. it. Hey, just just because you yeah. hey, just because you don't like scary movies doesn't mean you don't get to watch your own <laughs> games. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN Plus.